how you get how you get through some of those moments where you want to do all the things, but you can't practically do that. Yeah, so I mean, really just trial and error up to this point, um, because yeah, just like you, I get, I have highs and lows where I get really excited about everything and I wanna take on 18 different projects. And um, you know, I've, I've also been practicing yoga for over a decade and I've been teaching for almost four years and uh, started building up a pretty successful um, teaching business in Minnesota and burnt myself out because um, I was interviewing for jobs. I was trying to teach yoga. I was trying to do, um, you know, my, my full-time job with the DNR. Um, I was pregnant. So it was really just, um, I, I think I've gone back and forth in, in that so many times now that when I feel that excitement start to rise up, I also now have my husband who can kind of talk me off a ledge a little bit. Um, so I, I've kind of made it, when an opportunity comes up, I kind of run it by him and I can judge by his reaction uh, pretty much instantly whether this is a good idea or not. If his reaction is, oh, that sounds really cool, um, then I have that kind of external validation that this is something that I can probably get involved in, but there's been several times where he's reacted with, uh, is that something that you're sure that you should uh, take on, you know, and that kind of lets yeah. me know that, okay, maybe I need to think about this a little more. Yes. Um, so I'm, I'm always very thankful, you know, a month later, two months later, three months later, uh, there's been several times where I've said, you know, I'm really glad that I'm not currently worrying about X, Y, or Z. Um, it's, it's like you said, really hard to keep that, uh, future part in focus when you get really excited about stuff now. Um, but, uh, having people around you to, to kind of check in with, I think is really helpful for that. Yeah. Accountability has been a big thing for me in, uh, this adventure and absolutely I, landed and went full-time after working I worked nine to five jobs for 10 years and then I did a, a weakness assessment so I have a whiteboard and I wrote down 12 points of weakness and my husband and I went through the 12 possibilities of weakness in what I was experiencing and we came out with the number oh. one being a lack of priorities for me, at first, I'm not saying I am not able to prioritize, but I had been, if you think about it, and this this might be, uh, this might relate, be, be relatable, actually, because the past 10 years and all the jobs I held, I had always had a supervisor who had a supervisor who had a supervisor, mm -hmm. yeah. and with that chain of command, you are able to, so I was able to, most of the time, it depended on where I was working, but I could go to my lead and say, what needs to be done now? What needs to be done in two weeks? Um, mm -hmm. What does my workload look like for the week? And that aspect of owning your own business that even you know isn't there. It dropped, it dropped off. Um, and so I joked with my husband at first, the first three months last year and said, can you create a to-do list for us? Because... <laughs> I'm absolutely, I had to have that list and I had to yeah. have the the whiteboard. I had to write down, I have everyone that I work for, all the, all the needs, everything's all written down so I can see the priorities and that's helped me. And that's absolutely our yeah. solution to this kind of overarching, I think the bigger picture for us is just wanting to do it all. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just hard. Cool. It's all so cool. It's like every time somebody talks about uh, a potential project or something, like I was just talking to uh, Dr. Coyle yesterday, and we, we were going for 10 or 15 minutes about this really cool project, and then eventually it was like, do either of us need to be taking this on? Like, that's the, yes. the overarching question. This is really cool. Yes. I'm really excited about it. And do either of us have time to... Uh, commit this yes. to, for more than just the next 
six weeks or 12 weeks, you know, we have to have like a long-term plan. So. Yeah. And then that reality kind of gives you that chance to take two, two steps back from the ledge. <laughs> yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's, um, I joke that my husband's my risk management mitigator, <laughs> <laughs> but it's really helpful. Um, and, and yeah, you're right. It is, it's just interesting how you can go from a day that you just want to stay in your, your leggings and, you know, just be around the house. And then there's days where I could potentially travel to a different country and document something and come home and, but there's times where I don't have the energy. And so then in the, the next question I have then is, 